Open Wade, absolute, Dante Leon versus Mike Perez. So we'll see if the giant killer can kill a guy his own size. Let's go!
was like, oh, blah, blah. Just, dude, it was going crazy. Then, then when, 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 when Mike came out, he, Mike Perez came out, he's like, oh, I just thought about the two, the rules aren't clear. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what he was talking about. I like him. I, I like Mike. I, I, I'm not sure what he was talking about, though. The, the guy before then that came out, though, was going crazy about his match. I guess he said he got ripped off. And I don't even know. I don't even know the fuck it was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Mike. Uh, I think you thought you were talking about the front headlock. Uh, maybe he thought he scored off that because you brought that down and they stopped it from the headlock. And that still wouldn't be too late. Anyway. I thought it was beautifully played. How'd you feel in it? I felt good. No, I felt like I conserved my energy well. Wish I would have scored to make it like a little more. I drink a couple sips. Yeah. I'll be for one fucking second. You're drinking a cup. I told you, hey, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, I tried to <laughs> follow in your footsteps, coach. <laughs> you, you are. You need to drink more than one. <laughs> this is one. You throw it away. Oh, yeah, sorry. Shit. I finished. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll yeah. take it back. I'll take it back. No, no. <laughs> no but it uh, makes us now cook because there's sugar, because there's caffeine, so it's good for performance. I've been telling you this. That's just for super athlete. Ninety-nine uh, percent of Americans. What do you think I am? Hey. Oh yeah, you're Please. super athlete. So. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> three more matches to go. One to go. He's the main. Open class. You gotta feel like Open a big heart. Yes. Yes. Hey, Ferrillo. He just gave Dante a cup. So if you have doubts about Coca Cola, doing this, you should Coca Cola. Let's specify. Cut it. <laughs> Coca. Because they don't see the can. Uh, Coca Cola. Coca -Cola. Coca -Cola. Not cocaine. How do you say cocaine in Italy? Cocaine. See? It's kilos, not pounds, right? Yeah. Can you put that on there? Yeah, for sure. You'll put that on, right? So, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they love this uh, controversial thing. Controversial. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, how is, how is Dante's health? Nutrition going up to this. Ah, he's a carb machine, so he's uh, so optimized to work with very high carb that uh, we had plenty and, uh, and it's paying off. So, right now, the research strategy is, a, is a, uh, some electrolytes because of the fluids he lost and, uh, and some carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates. So, so when I think of nutrition, I think yeah. like that you got Dante probably eat chicken and a broccoli only. No. That's, okay. Elaborate. Yeah, because uh, when the heart rate goes up, uh, the primary source of uh, to fuel the body, it's carbohydrates. So if we just rely on protein and fiber, we're not gonna have the the fuel, right? So, but I eat cereal all the time. So how come I, I'm just not, just killing people? Yeah, that's that's a technical issue. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you know, a little Swedish massage going on. Do it. <laughs> I do the little. Very nice. Oh. oh, John. Oh, John. Let's fucking get it. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Go ahead. Last fucking moment. This is all I'm You're the man. You are shit. Let's go. This is why we're here. You are the guy. You always be the guy. Let's go, baby.
Just like going catch one with Jay Rod, same shit. Yeah. Fucking perfect. That's why you came out. Everybody knows, baby. Derail both the Golden Boys. Both of them. Two fucking more. Two more. One at a time. Two at a time. How you feel? Good, man. You look good. That's, you know why? You know why you did that? Because you drank that coke. Because <laughs> you drank that fucking Coca Cola. I've been telling him. Wait till I see that time. We have a lot of history. Matches like um, close, controversial, you know what I mean? And a lot of. A lot of ups and downs, you know what I mean, with matches with him, and it's been like at the worst times ever. Uh, calls not going my way, and you know, it's always been close, regardless of like the uh, controversy behind it. It's always been close matches, and he's always gotten a nod, you know. And, uh, this time I was able to put a, you know, a stamp on it, exclamation point on it, win by submission, and uh, happy about it. Right? Do you feel like you have a kind of fresh fire under you? Since, uh, are you trying to prove yourself, or is it all the, all the same? Yeah, you know, I think it's kind of the same thing. Uh, just had a shitty first match this weekend. Made some mistakes tactically. Showed some really good jujitsu as far as like my attacks and things like that, but. So many tactical errors ended up costing me a match against the guy who was really well prepared and really good. You know, he had a great day uh, yesterday, and uh, you know, he stole the match from me, man. And it was, uh, it wasn't around, it wasn't just because of mistakes that I made, but you know, I made some mistakes, and he was trained enough and prepared enough to capitalize on it. You know, so today, kind of the same thing happened in reverse. You know, I'm good enough to beat anybody in the world, so you know, like. Uh, made some some errors in that match and I was able to get into a good position and put him away. This thing but Dante's one of the best guys in the world. We constantly tell it to everyone. The amount of jiu-jitsu this guy knows and how good he is at training, how committed he is, how focused he is. Just a matter of time before this guy shows the world that he is literally one of the absolute best. Regardless of weight class, regardless of anything, he's a fucking stud, so 
That was sick to see him do it, you know. And the only submission that Mika ever nearly got caught in was an ankle lock in the European, so it was interesting. Dante had a smart approach, you know. So, yeah, let's go. Kanye and Duarte next. Uh, it's a tall order, but I don't know. We, we're knocking him down, so we'll see, right? We know he can do it. And that's it, guys. Please. Please. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So how was it when you shit your pants? <laughs> I cleaned it up already. It only took like five seconds. Okay. There's two bathrooms right there. Yeah, yeah. I had to, I had, I had, I had to get, you know, calm down a little bit, but I don't know. It's right. It's worth it. They don't know. No, we they know can't you're covering see. for college. I am. You're right. He did. He did. He, he's, he's been cop us some people all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, it is what it is what it is though. I can squeeze him, he's real little. Yeah. 
Hands inside, keep fighting it. Foot inside. One minute ten, Dante. One minute ten. So one minute, bro. We have to go now. We have to go now. We have urgency now. You have to have urgency. Dante, you can knee lever to off balance. Knee lever to off balance. Yes, yes, yes. Under the leg now. Under the leg now. Go for the leg now. You have to go now, Dante. Get under him, his head is far. Come up here. 30 seconds, come up, come up. No cross face. Tilt sweep again, lever, lever, knee lever. Go for it. Push him over your head, over your head. Attempting to pass it sucks. He never even got warned. So hard. So hard to deal with. Huh? Yeah. This is a little guy as well. You're the best.
Stay, stay here. Catch the hands. Don't let him get into the armpit. No armpit. Get on both hands. Get on both hands. Make it. Make connection. 40 seconds. Keep it something off that. Keep it something. tournament this weekend so yeah I, I can I can lay my head down tonight and be happy about that I would like to say that I'm surprised you know um, but I knew that Dante could win those matches like especially after they started just the way the guys were moving with him like I knew they weren't gonna be able to do anything to him just I mean his frames are so so tight and everything with those big guys it's such a problem for them to like get him separated that his because his guard is so effective as well with the leg attacks that the combination of the frames and the leg attacks and Dante's ability to wrestle up is something I think is a really big problem for the bigger guys and so I, I expected that and I'm I, I'm so oh my god this has been the best weekend of my life I'm so happy for Dante and Pixley and everybody on our team you know it, it, it's hard to be sad about this weekend with all the great things that have happened for everyone around me so I'm, I'm stoked about it all She's been stalking this weekend. And now another bronze. Fuck, I gotta get a different color medal <laughs> next time. I thought I was gonna get at least silver this time, so I mean, it was heartbreaking to lose in the weight, to be honest. Really frustrated, really emotional after I lost. Behind the scenes, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I was just really upset. And uh, I was really thankful I was able to like rally back. I gotta thank, uh, I gotta thank the people around me. I gotta thank Kelly, I gotta thank my girlfriend. You know, she was the one who kinda talked me down when I was getting a little too emotional yesterday. So, um, you know, kept me grounded, kept my head in the game and uh, just perform, you know what I mean? I, I, I put a long camp in for this. I put too much work into this camp to just fucking go out after uh, losing Saturday. So, you know, even though Saturday was unfortunate, just, you know, count your chips and 
come back in. Like he said, I had a short memory, didn't really dwell on yesterday's loss too much. Whenever I did, I was reminded not to um, by him, by the people around me, like I said, and just rallied back and had a great day today. Uh, you know, I want to take at least uh, a week or two off. Maybe, I always say I'm going to take some time off after ADCC and I, I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, you know, I, sometimes I go a little crazy and end up fucking just wanting to be in the gym because that's like my happy place. So I'll be in the gym in some form over the next two weeks, but definitely going to take a step back from things and uh, not be as gung-ho as I've, I've been uh, before and after certain tournaments. So uh, this is one. You know, I'm one of only four people at this weight at 170 pounds to place in the open. So this is one I'm going to need to take in and really, you know, really reflect on this. This is a this is a truly special event for me and a truly special accomplishment. Even though it's just a bronze medal, it's truly special. So I'm going to need to take some time, soak it in, really, you know, check in with the people that I love and, you know, regroup. Hopefully uh, somebody cracks the whip and keeps me out of the gym for two weeks. So. Um, the win over Micah was great because, like I said, we have such a history, a lot of drama in our matches. Who's number one? There's a lot of drama behind it. The last ADCC, a lot of drama behind the matches and nothing taken away from him because I know he feels the same way. as like we both want to have wins over each other where there's no controversy, where there's no bullshit, you know? And uh, it's unfortunate that we were never able to have that. And now, you know, two and a half, three years later after our first match, I was able to submit him and kind of have a win that has nothing dwelling over it you know even though he has two wins over me um i know the kind of athlete that he is he's somebody who wants to have a submission victory or like an exclamation point on a win over me and i was happy i was able to get that and uh you know john carlo is uh john carlo is one of my best friends you know uh a lot of people don't know john carlo and i shared a, a bed together in uh like 2018 we lived together for like a year uh, we've been so close for, for such a long time. We've been such good friends for such a long time. Um, and to go from like sharing a room together in Toledo, Ohio, he was a purple belt, I was a fresh black belt, to uh, competing in the bronze medal match of the biggest tournament in the history of Jiu Jitsu is kind of insane. Uh, you know, our lives went different ways. He, he joined New Wave and moved away, and I joined another team. but. Our relationship has never faded. Our, our friendship has never faded and it, it never will. It never will. I, I, I am, uh, I'm honored to share the mat with him and, and for that to just come full circle that way is, is, is special. You know, it makes me emotional. We just wrapped up the 2024 ADCC here at the T-Mobile Arena. We just had Dante Leon in the absolute division, 77 kilograms. Man, this guy was on fire today. He took out Mika Galvao with the submission. He beat Giancarlo. He had two wins over huge names, huge division winners. Absolutely killed it, third place for him. Wrapping it up, I think it was pretty incredible for the team. Took out the three biggest names. PSF took out Mirageli, took out Mika Galvao, took out Giancarlo. Huge, huge, huge weekend for us. Thanks so much for tuning in, checking it out. T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. Catch you guys soon. Forget it. Got him. This is the boss. This is the boss.